Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you another behind the scenes of a shoot that I did using natural light and later using flame light from a lantern. Let's get started. This shoot is a continuation of the fantasy theme shoot that I did over the summer and was also inspired by this photo from Irene Rudnick. The model that I'm shooting with today is my friend Yakov. We started to shoot around 3.30 p.m. The sun was scheduled to set at 4.30, so the sun at this time was lower and a lot more amber. This gave us only an hour to shoot with the sunlight. We ran into problems at the beginning of the shoot. I had purchased a shawl for my model to wear around his head, but we didn't have a chance to test it out before the shoot. Anytime you're figuring things out for the first time on a shoot, be prepared for a lot of time to go by fast. The weather was also very cold the day of shooting. I knew in this spot that I was only going to be shooting knee up, so I had my model keep their jacket nearby to warm up while I was adjusting my camera settings. The area we were shooting in was also very tight and surrounded by a lot of sharp branches. So posing was difficult because of the space constraints. My tip for this is to circle around your model to give more variations in your photo if your model isn't able to move much. Recently, I've been using my stepladder a lot more in shoots. It can help give more angles and provide more variety in your shots. It can also help reduce the sun glare because you're now shooting down at your subject. For the next spot, the sun was going away a lot quicker than I anticipated. The sun was also hidden away by some clouds on the horizon, creating flat lighting. We tried shooting using direct sunlight, but I didn't really like the results. Eventually, the sun came back out. I don't normally like shooting with the sun so close to the horizon. To get my model backlit, I have to shoot quite low, which includes a lot of sky, which is just white. There's also not much light from the front to light your model evenly against the strong backlighting. This takes a lot of work in editing to bring the details back. My tip is to always start shooting two hours prior to the sun setting, and to be very cautious when it comes to the last half an hour or so of golden hour. Blue hour was now beginning, which was the perfect time for our lantern lit shots. We returned back to my house and shot in my backyard. This was my first time using blue hour in my shots, so I knew that I only had about 20 to 30 minutes before it was going to be too dark to shoot. Thankfully, I had tested the lamp the night before, so not much time was wasted lighting the lantern. The lantern was smaller than what I wanted, so I had my model turn the lantern at an angle, making it appear bigger than it really was. 
I had my model face in the direction where the sun had set to give him some illumination on his face. I made sure that the lighting from the lantern was only falling onto one side of my model's face. This makes retouching a lot easier versus having dappled lighting all over my model's face. The remaining light on the horizon was also backlighting some of the trees, giving some bokeh in the background. That's all I have for you today. Thank you to everyone involved in this shoot. If you liked this video, please press the like button and subscribe for more future behind the scenes. Everyone out there, stay safe and healthy. My name is Raphael, and I'll see you next time. Bye.